Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In the previous tutorial, we discussed how we perform the data driven testing by using the Excel sheet, right? Where I created Excel sheet and put the user information. So this is the Excel sheet. Let me open this. So I put the Excel sheet in the test data file. If I open this, you can see data I saved here. I added here one blank line. So in that case, only these two uh, tests uh, uh, test will run on these two data, which I discussed in the previous tutorial, right? If we remove the spaces, then it will run all the data uh, which are available here. Now, when we are running this test, right? And if we look the uh, extend report which we have implemented here. So in the extend report, we are getting the method name only. Test login with Excel data. This method I am getting, right? But we don't know like this test are related to which data and second test is related to which data. Even if your test is getting failed and we need to debug and check. So we don't know, right? For which test data this is passing up, uh, uh, this is fail. Now, okay, so if, is there any way we can change or we can update that some test data along with this uh, user, uh, this test method name here in the report, then we can understand for which data the test is failed. Let's see how we change the test name dynamically by appending some data from the Excel sheet it will be helpful to analyze, to uh, map our test report with our test data. So let's see how we update this dynamically. Now, in the test method here, you can see, uh, we need to implement I test. Okay. This I test is provided by the test ng. This is one interface which has one method get test name right so by using this we can get the test name and let's override this method i added here the method to override now we need to change the test method at runtime by using this get test method we can retrieve the data so let's create a method like before uh, annotation with before annotation setup method. This method will invoke before running the test method, right? So if is there any way we can just go and modify the method name in this test, then our purpose will solve. So first I am going to create a uh, thread local. This is a string type, test name, new thread local. So runtime we will update this name in the before method and in the get method, I will just call test name dot get. So retrieve this one. Now, here we need to use the reflection. So first let's use the method. Second arg argument, we can pass the object, which is my test data right which data we are getting the data from data provider i am passing here and first is using the first argument method here then test name dot get set method dot get name so i will retrieve the method name of the test like in this case test login with excel data and we are setting up this in this variable thread local variable method dot get name plus 
I'm using underscore so that we can differentiate between the method as well as the test data. So this will return us the method name. Then I am using here data. So, so this is the array. So we can use here the index. Like suppose that first data I am going to append into the report name like this information. I am going to append with report name or we can use a name like this one. So let's give the index to right and then this complete basically this is the object of the array uh, array of the object we can convert this into the string let's type cast i am type casting here right so in this way before running the method at runtime i will change the method name in the test name right and here we will call the method name plus the third value, which are available in test data. If we want to all the value we want to append, then we can add like this type cast of zero value, zero index value plus one plus two like this. But in that case, our method will go very large. Method name is large. This test is ready. Now in the listener side, if we, I go, right? So I have already implemented here one features. So at runtime, I'm getting the test method name, like I'm just printing here so that we can see the method name. But here I test result dot get test method name, what method we set there. I'm just retrieving here and checking if this is null, not null. Means we have set up some value into the test name. Then in that case, because we are calling this method get test name. So in that case, if we are getting any value, then I'm report test manager dot start a test, starting test by retrieving the test name, which are available here. And then this is the class name. If this is not available, then in the else condition, I am also checking if test method has any description. So I'm adding the description test name along with the description of the test. Next. We have here also, uh, if nothing is there, no description, no test name. So I'm just up and adding the test method name in the report, right? So this approach is already handled here in the uh, listeners. So now if I run your test, you will see the test method added in the report with the test data of the user name. So let me run the test and you will see report name will change dynamically. Let me run this test. Listeners, I am use calling here, running the test. Now it's running the test for the second data. Yeah, it's execution done. Now let's refresh the report folder and open this. This time you can see test method like this login with Excel data underscore visual merchandiser. Test login with Excel data underscore demo and underscore other. So now your test method name is dynamically getting changed and you can see in the extend report. Okay, thanks for watching the video. If you like the tutorial, please click on the like button, subscribe the channel, also click on the bell icon so that you can get latest videos notification and also leave a comment if you have any query. Let's meet in the next tutorial of the framework series where I will discuss how we add the execution log into the report, into the extend report.